Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Madam81. I'm back with you again. Um, I took a few days off just to relax and, you know, just chill, hang with my friends. Um, and today I'm bringing you uh, a most powerful, powerful, powerful thing. Uh, when black power and gangs come together and unite under one cause, for the uh, for Nipsey Hussle, um, for any cause, but more importantly um, for Nipsey Hussle that was killed uh, by Eric Holder. It was a truce, even though it was not gang related. Um, it was more of a hate from individual from one individual to another, and it was not gang related. Um, tragic, but in the wake of the tragedy, um, some seeds of positive, positive, uh, positive thought and thinking and, and movement have, have fertilized and it's growing. Uh, they haven't had a truce since 1992 in LA, and I think it is a step in the right direction. Um, they can truly be a force. Um, all the gangs that came from different sets, different hoods, it could definitely be something great and something to look forward to. Um, this is definitely black power at its finest. And if they can do it, I'm pretty sure all the other gangs all around the United States can. Um, they were the trendsetters. They did set the tone. And I just hope that others follow the same lead. I'm going to play a couple of clips for you um, of, you know, all the gangs coming together, marching or walking um, and everything. Also, uh, the Nation of Islam was there as well. Uh, it was just it was just a powerful thing. It was a beautiful thing. Um, no negativity, no drama, just all love and respect for one man, regardless of color, regardless of the color that he was wearing or he wrapped. Um, just a deep found respect for this Nipsey Hustle. So, man, I hope to see bigger and better things come from this. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I want to like you to subscribe, like, and share. And I will get back with you guys later. Okay, brother Nipsey Hussle. All black gangs in LA taking initial steps towards a peace treaty. Right now, we out here in the same part. While I was honored to meet Nipsey, his brother Sam. The Deer Park. We got folks checking in from all hoods. West side, east side. So if y'all ain't making it out here today, there's gonna be a lot more um, activities, cats coming together. You know, this is just the beginning. I said we most definitely got cats uh, from the west side represent, but then we also got some cats from the east side. The west side, we got rolling 60s, overhill 60s, 40s. Got some west side neighborhood Pyrus, Inglewood family, Hoovers, Gear Gang, Raymonds. And you even said you saw some uh, folks from Compton out here? Yeah, so we most definitely want to uh, shout out Big U because we heard he made the initial call to Big U from 60s to uh, continue with Nick and Starty. Then we were told Madison to Tony backed them up. A couple of other brothers out here from different. Uh, Set street organizations, you know, put the word out to their folks. So, 
We're doing a lovely thing right now. A few people have that, but more people are coming, so you don't know how long everybody's going to be out here. But this is being recorded, so by the time you see it, so my phone battery almost dead. It might be over. I'm going to try to go live for a minute. You know, just to give some of y'all opportunity to come on through. But uh, like I said, this is just the initial step. Us games from all over the city of Los Angeles declare the crews as they gathered together to pay tribute to the slain star. According to TMZ, the Friday afternoon march was organized by leaders from gangs in Watts, Compton, LA, and Inglewood who discussed a ceasefire on Thursday. The rally began in at a grocery store in the French neighborhood and moved toward Hustle's the Marathon clothing store where he was shot on Sunday at a makeshift memorial has been left by mourners. Among those street chains represented by the raw and 60s neighborhood groups, the crew that Hustle used to run with as a team and his shooter, Eric Holger, is allegedly affiliated with now. In a video posted to Instagram by Los Angeles radio personality Big Boy, the silent marchers in all of their various colors walked down the last slice of avenue arriving at the site of Nipsey's store. 
prior to the march, community organizer Vicky posted to social media requesting gangs please come with the right cut and that each gang will be responsible for their own members. The overall goal is to establish a structure that can go on further, Vicky said regarding plans following the rally. We got this, but then we want to start having satellite sit-downs with different gangs. The memorial video that was restricted to members of Los Angeles gangs shows a general peace unlike anything seen since 1992 when the walks truce between rival gangs began a trend of escalating violence for the next three decades, according to TMZ. However, the shooting of Nipsey Hussle, considered to be a personal dispute rather than gang-related, still prompted the leaders of the Bloods, Crips, and others to organize the truce over the week. This was tragic in the fact that they're calling it gang-related when it's time to more hate, more hate-related, than gang-related, the community organizer said. Hustle, whose real name was Ermia Zaskdom, was shot multiple times on March 31st outside his Marathon clothing store. Two other people, the friend he was helping get clothes after getting out of prison and a friend's nephew, were also wounded in the shooting. Eric Holder Jr., 29, accused of Nipsey murder, <coughs> he was not guilty on Thursday and had his bail set at $5 million. He was represented by his defense attorney Chris Harden, a member of the prosecution team at O.J. Simpson's 1995 murder trial. Holder was arrested on Wednesday and has been reportedly held in